What's up YouTube, Dan here, and welcome to the second episode of this West Ham uh, Karima series. So today, our first game is going to be at Southampton, and they've just beaten uh, Sunderland 8-0 in real life, so I am pretty scared right now. Uh, but also guys, I want to let you know, if you do want to see the next episode early, smash the like button. Can we get over 500 likes in this episode in the next few hours, and I'll try to upload uh, the next episode. Uh, so for the team news guys, basically uh, Yaskalainen is going to be my goalie for this game as Adrian got sent off and also Cal's going to be playing as a striker instead of obviously Enna Valencia who is hopefully, fingers crossed, not for too long. A chance here for Southampton, good save from Yaskalainen. That was actually so close to being a goal but Yaskalainen in the way again to keep it a nil-nil and it's going to be a free kick as well. Right, okay, I'm not looking forward to, the, the, to defending this free kick. Oh my gosh, come off the crossbar. Or the post, oh my god, that nearly went in. Right, there we go, it's one at the top. It's Sacco for on goal here. Go on, Sacco, finish a chance. Good save from the goalkeeper. Again, so close to that first goal. Right, Cornelik Song got to catch him up. Good ball in as well, great header away. Try and get in the way of it. Oh my god, I can't stop conceding at the moment, guys. Southampton have taken the lead. And again, it's undeserved. It's Steve Davis, I think, with the goal. And I don't know where my defence was. I don't know who that was uh, laying on the floor. Uh, it's actually Winston Reid who was actually on the floor there. But it's a goal. And we now have to come back uh, from 1-0 down. Oh, what a ball. Andy Carroll's for on goal. That is a free kick right there. But it's no free kick. What the absolute hell is going on there? Referee. What is going on? How is that not even a red card? He was last man, but nothing given. Right, here goes Zarate though. Gone into the middle to Carroll. Back to Zarate. It's the Carroll. Finish the chance. There we go. Andy Carroll with the goal. And we have got the equaliser, guys. Big Andy Carroll with the goal there. And look how German this is. Look at this. It takes a deflection. Back to Carroll. And he makes it 1 0. Or 1 1, sorry. And we are back into the game. Get and there we go, guys. A great end to the first half. We managed to get the goal just before the end. And it was Andy Carroll's war with the goal, so that is equally as good. And that's actually his first goal of the season as well. So no changes going into the second half, guys. So let's try and get uh, this all-important winner uh, to get our first three points of the season. Oh, this is great play. Back to Sacco, to Zarate. That is a free kick right there. Referee. That was a free kick, but I don't know what he's doing. Oh, Criate, if we had that. Chance here, oh my god, I don't believe it, I just can't stop uh, conceding goals, and that is like their second chance of the game, I don't know what Criate is doing there either, and I don't know who scored the goal, but Southampton have now taken the lead, right, go on Zarate, find the space, there is the space right there, it's Zarate, oh what a save, how has he kept that out, it was actually a pretty terrible shot in the end, uh, but Zarate nearly scoring uh, the equaliser there, right, come on, get a good ball in, Good ball in as well. Oh, it's a great save again. It all happens to that play on the line there. But another chance. Right, come on. Let's try and get an outswinger here. Right, win that. Oh, that was terrible. And there we are, guys. That is the end of the game. And we again lose the game against Southampton. An undeserved loss in the end. And Southampton go away with the three points. So, guys, we are now into the transfer deadline day. So, I want to sign at least one player in this last day of the transfer window. So, basically, guys, in the last episode, I asked you what players I should buy to improve this team. And you guys left so many comments down below. Uh, so, here is the short list. And I'll leave your comments on the screen right now. Uh, so, basically, just credit you on the players you found. Uh, so, here we go, guys. So, the first player is going to be Bellerin. So, this guy plays at Arsenal. Uh, I saw Chambers a lot more in the comments section. But I think... I'll go for Bellerin instead, just because, you see there, he is lone listed. So look at that, 91 to 99 sprint speed. Oh my god, I need this guy, uh, but he has got some fantastic stats. But again, do I really need a left or a right back? Sorry, do I need a full back or do I more need a centre back? That is the question. Uh, so next of all, we have got Rüdiger. You guys already know who he is. Uh, we've got this guy called Membemba. I've seen this guy a lot in the comments section. Uh, not worth £9 million, pounds, 20 years old. And looks to be a good player. Obviously linking up with Koyate as well. Uh, so he could be a, a decent player to go in that centre-back role instead of either Reed or Tomkins at the back. So Roberts as well. Saw this guy a lot. Uh, a Fulham right midfielder, 17 years old. And can get to 80, 83 rated as well. Uh, Tillman, as you guys already know about. We've got Ruben Neves. I'm really interested in this guy. 17 years old. 
and you can't see any of his stats, but he can get from, I think, 69 uh, to 86. I think that's correct. So, uh, again, this guy looks fantastic. Uh, so, I'll, well, I'll just go and sh uh, I'll end the scouting as soon as he gets the scouting or the full stats, and I'll show you how good this guy is as well. He'll be perfect next to players like Downing and Matt Jarvis in the center of that midfield. So, now we have Yenazai. This is a player I want to talk about most because he is basically not playing too much in Man United in real life. So, I was thinking... Could I get this guy on loan? That is basically uh, what I want to do with him. But I know that you guys, some of you guys think, oh, it's a bit unrealistic. Yen and Zai, you've never seen him leave Man United. But I think this could actually happen. Him going uh, to a lower team, obviously not like a top five, top six team. Uh, but I can see him going to a team like West Ham, you know, that, that kind of team. Uh, could say maybe Southampton, that kind of range of team, like a three, four star, uh, star rated team. So, so this guy would be perfect as a left midfielder, obviously as a semi mid as well. Uh, so playing like in that Stuart Downing kind of role. Uh, so again, this guy could be fantastic for this team. So now Churchy as well uh, could maybe be a possibility for the future. Apparently he is insane on FIFA 15. So uh, could be a player I might go for in the future. And also Mbolo. That does not say Ebola. It says Mbolo basically, guys. So 17 years old and comes from FC Basel. So might also go for Fabian Scherz, maybe like a two-player uh, deal. Uh, but you can't see any of his stats, but you can tell from the, some of those ticks there that he has got fantastic physical attributes. So that is what, oh, that's obviously what I'm going to say. So we've got Moussa Nembele as another striker. Uh, obviously played for Fulham a lot last year in the Premier League. And also Berahino as well. So I was thinking about this guy. Uh, West Brom is kind of like the lower kind of 15 to 20 team, uh, 20th team in the Premier League. So it would only make sense to go up to like the next tier of teams. So that's like 15th. Uh, it's kind of like the range where Southampton are. And then you obviously get the top six. Uh, so maybe this is like a step up for him, then obviously move on to some like maybe, uh, for example, Everton in the future, because I think Berahino has got a fantastic future ahead of him. Uh, so maybe this could be a fantastic striker to pick up uh, as well. But obviously I've got a lot of strikers, so maybe he won't be a good player to add to this team. So guys, that is basically my short list. Now let's make some, uh, actually make some uh, transfer offers uh, for some of these players. So first of all, guys, going to make a cheeky offer for Membemba from Andalex. So I'm basically going to go for four million pounds, actually three million pounds, and let's see if they accept the offer. So I'm also going to put a loan offer deal for Yanazai. So let's go for that full season. Uh, I'm just going to see purely what they say or say about it. But yeah, let's go for that. Submit the offer, and hopefully Man United do actually accept it. Right, I'm going to put one final offer in for Rudiger. So they want 11 million. Uh, so I'm prepared to go for six million. So let's try that. Uh, actually, let's try 6.5 million and please, Stuttgart, please accept the offer because he will be a fantastic uh, place, uh, replacement, I should say, for Tompkins. Oh my god, guys, look at that. They have accepted the loan offer for Anyan Yanazai. Wow, I could actually have Yanazai at this team. And I've been watching a few Man United crewmates on YouTube and apparently this guy is fantastic. So... I don't know where to go for it because if I think I'm thinking about it now, I'm going to go for Rudiger actually as well. Yes, I didn't realize that, but they've accepted the offer. So he wants 25k a week, three years, and also an important first team player. He will be a class addition to this team. So there we go. Uh, but now on to Yanazai. So I've thought about this now, guys, and basically I'm going to go for this. So they've actually accepted the loan offer, and now Yanazai is going to be part of West Ham for the next season. So I'm so excited to use him. Uh, but that will mean obviously changing up the team uh, probably playing on the right side and then obviously Matt Jarvis on the left hand side so there we go uh, we've got probably two new signings obviously got uh, Rudiger there as a new centre back and Yanez, Yanez I should say as our new right midfielder and there we go guys accepted for Rudiger there we go Antonio Rudiger welcome to West Ham there we go life this game was fantastic and I remember I think it was Valencia with an absolutely fantastic goal as well uh, so here we are with the team lineup, basically going with a four uh, triple two formation, fitting in obviously Zerato on the left and also Adnan Yanazai on the uh, right side, Seko and obviously Big Boy under Carroll as our two strikers, and obviously Koyate and Alex Song as the two CDMs. So, guys, we are now into the second game of the episode at the KC Stadium against Hull City. And all I'm going to say is this is a must-win game. We need to win this game. So let's go into this and try and hopefully get the three points. And there is the man himself, Antonio Rudiger. There he is, 21 years old, and has got such a bright future ahead of him. Uh, so let's go into this. Go on, Sacco. He's got the pace to get past Dawson. It's Sacco. Let's go near post. Ice oh, off the post. Nearly our first goal of the game. 
And that's just our luck at the moment. Or Sacco. Ah, oh, that's a free kick right there. So finally we have a referee who actually gets free kicks. Right, who is the best free kick taker? That is the question. And I think it's Zarate. So let's go. Come on, top corner. Top corner stuff. Come on, Zarate. Oh, it's off the post again. Guys, I don't know what's happening, but I think they're against me. They are strongly against me. There we go. Right, we're just going to sweat it. Oh my god, what a terrible pass. But there we go. Kuyate with the goal. And you don't know how good that feels. Kuyate has been fantastic so far. And we make it 1 0. 22 minutes, bang on the clock there. And I had to go for the sweaty. With the confidence my strikers have at the moment, he was no way going to score that. Uh, so decides to pass it to Kuyate and puts the goalkeeper the wrong way. And there we go. 1 0. And we're now in the lead. Oh, Hernandez found the way past. Great save from the goalkeeper, I think. Uh, Abel Hernandez, oh, Sonia Luka, actually, sorry. Uh, nearly scoring there. He is a danger man. He's got, like, 92 pace. Uh, so, got to watch out for him. So, corner kick here for Hull. That should be easy. Dealings there. And we got it away. Good defending there. Oh, no. Abel Hernandez, boy, he has missed that. So badly with the good game in the way there. Right, come on. I need Alex Song in a good position to try and stop this cross. Right, there we go. Must have someone on that. There we go. Harold further away. We just need to clear it. Oh, Hernandez through. Oh, my God, that's strength. But that is not a free kick. Oh, my God. Is that a penalty? Oh, it's just outside the box. Jesus Christ. That was nearly in the penalty box. Right, going for a short free kick, I think. No, it's not. And that's gone over. Oh, my God. Gaston Ramirez. Whole City are dominating at the moment, guys. This whole second half has been dominated by them. Try and keep this win. Come on. There we go. Adran coming out there big. Right, just get the ball away. Right, have we got a chance here? Who is that? Right, can he get to it? McGregor's out again. He goes to the header. Right, win the header. There we go. Right, Andy Carroll finesse shot. It's going to go in. It's going in. Andy Carroll has got the goal. It's 2-0. And we're on our way to our first win. And the drought is over. Oh, no way. It's a penalty kick. Whole City have the chance to get back into the game. And it's really good with the uh, penalty or the actually giving away the penalty. Right, so let's try and guess the right way. I want to keep a clean sheet. Right, come on, he's going this way. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. It's hit the crossbar. A great save and it's gone in. What just went on there? And Hull City have got a goal back. I don't know how long it's left because my camera's in the way. I'm about to check now. Right, so we've got six minutes left now, guys. Have a look at this again. Off the crossbar. And he's actually a little more first to react. And I don't know what went on there. Five minutes out and all. What is going on? Right, come on. Park that bus. No. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. They don't deserve that. And Jelovic has scored it in the last minute. It's just scripted, isn't it? Look at this. What is Winston Reid doing? And Jelovic has made it 2 all. I can't believe it. Andy Carroll from kickoff, though. Here we go. Just try and find some space. Oh, there we go. And it's that going to be it, guys. I can't believe it. We have drawn the game. And I actually played pretty well in that game, but still could not get the win. I can't believe that. It's a 2 all draw. Jelovic with a goal in the last dying seconds. And I, I, I thought that was my first win right there. But no, Jelovic got the last goal. And it's a 2 all draw. Oh, my God. But that is actually going to be the end of today's episode. A fantastic episode in terms of goals and that kind of thing. And next episode is the time when I will win my first game. The drought continues, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Smash a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And it'll, if you do want to see the next episode, smash a like on the video, basically. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode.